Hello, it is me, Muna, and welcome to Let's Talk Cyber. How cyber savvy are you? So we are constantly online, whether it's on your phone, on your tablet, on your computers, but do we know how to stay safe online and protect ourselves from things like cyber threats, hackers, and even phishing? Well, today I speak to the people on the streets of Singapore to test their knowledge on cybersecurity and whether or not they know how to stay safe online. Let's get started! How much do you think you know about cybersecurity? Zero. Alright, question number one. What is an antivirus software? Uh, not really no. Like something green colour, is it? Something you install on your computer or any of your other mobile devices that you use to protect against malware when you download stuff on the internet or when you peruse websites. That's very good. It is something that scans and detects any malware in your devices. And which devices would you want to have your antivirus software on? Normally a computer. My laptop particularly because I do a lot of my schoolwork on there and there's a lot of my personal info, my emails and everything that's really important. Okay, yeah. I see that you are so aware and you are like woke with cyber security. Okay, you know you use your phones, yeah. you use your computer, you yep. use your tablets, yep. everything you use that for, you go online, right? So any of your online devices, you should have an antivirus software, alright? What does malware stand for? Malaysia. Malaysia. Software. Oh, malware stands for malicious Oh, malicious. Software. Okay, next question. What makes a strong password? Oh, I know! Is that I know? Um, have at least one caps. Okay. Letter. Okay. And then uh, numbers. Okay. And some like symbols. Combination of letters, numbers, lowercase, uppercase letters, sometimes special characters. So we're going to share some tips with everyone, okay, on how to create a strong password. Number one, you can pick five or more words that relate to a memory that is unique to you. And of course, it's long. It's more than 12 characters. For example, for me, I learned to ride a bike at 21. So I did. Yeah, I know. Don't judge. I'm going to put my birthday and my name and surname, yeah. No! <laughs> Okay, that's one tip also. You shouldn't put any of your personal information in a okay, password okay. because hackers can access it online very easily. So tell me your birthday now. No, don't tell me, don't tell me. What's a memory for you? Well, then people will know my password. Ah. So, <laughs> I can't ah, say clever, a memory. Clever, so. clever. Okay. So what are some of the accounts that you've enabled 2FA for? Uh, SyncPass. Ah, <laughs> alright, very pass, good. Please. Social media like Instagram, Facebook. And even messaging apps, you know, like now WhatsApp and Telegram, you know it. WhatsApp, Telegram, emails and bank accounts, of course. This is quite a tricky one. What is phishing? What is phishing? That is not a hint at all. Phishing? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you go to the ocean and fish. <laughs> when hackers uh, go online and they try and intently fish for personal information of uh, particulars that are posted online. It is a kind of method where people, uh, hackers, impersonate someone you trust or legitimate organisations like banks or, or any other organisations and they are gathering information from you. And how do you think you can detect that an email is a phishing email? Looks suspicious. Um, they ask for uh, your personal information, the, the Prince of Nigeria or something, <laughs> you know, asking for your... Prince of Nigeria, right? We need to know <laughs> yeah. what you want from us. Yeah, so, well, suspicious and unexpected right. emails. Like, all of a sudden, you get an email from this person that, you know, just okay. doesn't make okay. sense. And mismatch or misleading information. So, let's say you see the email address and it's not legitimate, it okay. looks suspicious. So, that's a sign of a phishing email. Oh, okay. okay, next question. What is a software update? The thing that pops up at the site to tell me to update my software. That annoying thing that's nagging yeah. at you. It is very important, actually. The software update, I... I... I know I ignore it sometimes. <laughs> no, you're I not supposed to no ignore it. <laughs> in software update, as much as it helps to you know upgrade your phone, make things work faster, it also includes added security fixes. So you need to accept that all the time. Do you guys accept it every time you? No. I mean, yeah, sometimes. You should accept it immediately because your phone might be working okay, but in the long run, you're still at risk of any cyber threats. Now, with all this information that you all have got from me, yeah. what are you gonna do next? I just download antivirus. Update your software regularly. Change my password. Very confident. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. So
Okay, so it seems like some people still need to learn about how to protect themselves online. For our viewers out there, did you get the answers right? If you did, then great! If you didn't, don't worry, you can always go to the GoSafe online website and Facebook page to find out more about how to protect yourselves online. Thanks for watching! Frab, frab, frab.